Literally out of nowhere, she said, if you could afford a mansion, would you live in one? <laughs> <laughs> like after yeah. everything clapped. It's interesting. Okay. Yes. Would you? Yeah. No. Why? It's because scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have to be haunted. I thought no. Steph was agreeing with me, but then she was trying to do the countdown. <laughs> I was like, yes, Steph. G'day, I'm Evan. Welcome <laughs> to Game Me Game. Joining me on the show this week, it's Ben Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi Higgins. Come on, what the Sorry, fuck? Sorry, I'm going to get you Woo! <laughs> I love it every second I love <laughs> There's uh, nothing I enjoy more than a nice glass. A nice cup of gamey, gamey, game mocha. Mm. <laughs> Tastes like Evan. <laughs> Say <laughs> Evan or heaven? Evan, what are you? It's like Evan. A gamey, gamey, game It's Evan in a cup. Is it when Evan makes you an instant coffee and he goes, hey, do you want sugar? And you go, yeah, sure, I'll have one. And he puts it in and then he does this. And it, but it's boiling hot, so he's like... <laughs> It's ready! <laughs> <laughs> I've never done <laughs> Evan, where's mm. the skin on your finger? <laughs> it's right here! <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, how's Tazo doing? We're having fun. What are you just, doing? He's just uh, sniffing uh, about, he's yeah. fine. Tazo's You're sweaty sitting. already. Leave him alone. It's, it's hot in here. so hot. It's really hot. How are you sweaty. not hot? It's 35 degrees. I'm a higher being, so... <laughs> oh, wow. It actually really? takes quite a lot for me to sweat. Because oh. I'm very evolved. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, what... Like, but what would it take? Emotionally. What, what, what would, would it take? Yeah, what would it take to make you sweat? Oof. Don't know. I've never been there. <laughs> oh. Yeah. you never You'd be sweated? sweaty by the end of this. Maybe a mental sweat. <laughs> um... <laughs> Hey, thanks Maybe to... Maybe a sweater. <laughs> the heat is not good. It's not... It doesn't bode well for this episode. <laughs> We're all going to slow You make no mistake, by the end of the episode, I will be as dry as uh, Evan's humor. <laughs> That's a Ben Russell... That is a Ben Russell promise. <laughs> That's a ben Russell. If you are sweaty by the end of this, you I, need to apologize. I have to punch Evan in the face. What? <laughs> right. Hands up if you agree. <laughs> Sorry, Evan. <laughs> No. You better hope I don't Crew sweat. Crew <laughs> agrees. Crew agrees. Otherwise, this bad boy's coming for you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks to everyone who signed up to our Patreon and took advantage of our special offer. Uh, if you haven't already received your uh, enamel pin, it will arrive soon. Um, but that's... What about if I eat this week, maybe? <laughs> Is this joke still funny? <laughs> This week, was funny we're going either. to take a look at Dead or Alive 6 and Anthem. But first... What do you think of this? this? <laughs> <laughs> it's become a little thing. Yeah. We didn't always do it, but we did it sometimes, and now we do it most weeks. So what do you think of this? Yeah. Did you know it's an Auntie Donna sketch? Oh, yes, it is an Auntie Donna sketch. That's not where I got it from. Okay. <laughs> it's just, I'm mostly just can't be bothered, like, rewriting the script, so it kind of just... I'll just delete. So you take Auntie Donna's screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Into their office. Auntie Donna's <laughs> <laughs> um, the ABC here in Australia have created the Amazon Race, a news game about what it's like to work in an Amazon warehouse. Uh, the game explains that it tells the story of what it's like to work in Amazon's Melbourne warehouse. Uh, it's based on interviews with current and former workers. Did you get a chance to look at this? Right. I did. Did you? Yes, I did. But it got interrupted by Ben asking you for a lift. <laughs> <laughs> so I never made it to the end. Oh. <laughs> it's a problem with web games, isn't it? Yeah. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. I don't. I blame Messenger. Okay. Mm. And my inability to understand how Messenger works. Can't you switch Windows back? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> you just have was I going on your to? phone, no. you're like, the was screen's it? changed uh, now. Well, I, was half, I feel like I was halfway through it and I'm like, oh, I don't want to have to keep tapping from the beginning again, so... This is what Amazon workers feel like though, right? They... How horrifying. Mm. I think it's kind of a good way to explain how it feels to be someone who works in a, like a high-pressure warehouse sort of a situation. Yes, I would not last a week 
no, at me this workplace either. because I would complain a lot. And mm. I would. When you complain, it seems you get fired. <laughs> yeah, I would just go. I would not do very well at all. But it's a good thing that Amazon is paying so much tax, though, from the <laughs> 11 billion uh, that they made last year. They made. I mean, I'm sure that they paid a lot of tax on that. Yeah. They would have well, paid a heap of tax. I don't, okay. yeah? I don't keep track. It's the tax man. I... Zero tax. <laughs> <laughs> they paid fuck all. So yeah. it's a tax man. Essentially, what what happens in this? So it's trying to convey the experience of starting a new job with the, in the Amazon fulfillment center. Mm. Um, Which is a weird place to call hell. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They sort of condense it down into like a, a week, a week in the life of. It uh, feels like Amazon, Amazon fulfillment center feels like something out of a Pixar movie, you know, like oh, yeah. they're, they're making fun of this shit. But yes. maybe, yeah, yeah, it's like real. it's an on the nose joke about how fuck capitalism. Yeah, yeah. yeah this reminds me of like all the crappy first jobs that I had when I was too young to know my rights and too young to know that I can speak up. And When you were 11? When I was 11 in the mines <laughs> and I was just too young, uh, but they needed someone small to get down there um, and rescue the others. So I, and it just like, but this is like, this, if this is what's allegedly going on in Amazon, that's not a small business. Like all those crappy jobs were small businesses where they could get away with this kind of stuff. But when it's mm. a big company being this fucking yucko to yeah. their workers. Well, yeah, that's the thing. They get people who are desperate and who need the money. So yeah. they're not going to complain because yeah. they'll be out of a fucking job. Yeah. Fuck Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Right I would, I would divorce Allegedly. you as well. Allegedly right in hell. <laughs> you would what? Oh, his wife divorced him. And fucking rightly so. The guy's a creep. Yeah. <laughs> Never <laughs> trust a bald man. Hey, mm. how dare you? <laughs> How dare you? What? Love my life is bald. How Who? dare you? Hey Jones. <laughs> what? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> to, to give a bit of context, so the um, the kinds of things that are happening in the game that the or the, that the game is trying to highlight, it's things like it, um, employing people on a casual basis because there aren't full time positions apparently. So. Well, um, since this came out, there are now. Are there right? They just announced like five hundred permanent jobs over the, that they're going to start over the next year because people noticed. Yeah, <laughs> uh -oh. it's good. I, I people think notice it's, we're exploiting them. Let's <laughs> change it and say that we're great. It's, um... <laughs> Put a, give a pat on the back for Make changing our Amazon thing. great again. This yeah. is essentially news reporting, so it's, it's good that all, all the news reporting is having an impact, I yes. suppose. Um, because, yeah, so it's what, what the game sort of talks about is you're being employed as a casual, so you're basically given a shift the day before and it might be cancelled the day before or it might be cut short because all the work is done for the day. Oh, of, yeah, that's the most fucked thing. They like, yeah. push them really hard to the point where they're always almost running. And then they're almost like, running, and they're like you did such a good job that we finished early. You're not getting paid for the rest of the day. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that comes up. Apparently, that happens. Um, so you work harder, you get paid less. Well, yeah. yeah, if you run out of work to do, I guess it's pretty brutal. That goes against the very core of my being. <laughs> I want to work less and get paid hard. Mm. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> um, it's pretty horrifying. This is happening in Melbourne because yeah. um, you hear yeah. about it happening in America, and you're like, well. I don't think they have any laws over there at this point. <laughs> yeah. Anything seems to be fine. But like, you know, I, I heard the stories of people like not wanting to go to the toilet mm. and like that kind of thing. And they'd like piss in a bottle because they wouldn't have time. Yeah. Um, and it, it turns out that people don't want to go to the toilet here. So they just like won't drink water. I mean, there's so much focus on your, the, your picking speed. Yeah, the, pick yeah. rate. Yeah, the pick rate. Uh, so you have like, a certain amount of time to pick up the next thing. Yeah. And what kind of absolute cunts are the like the supervisors? Let's not forget middle management. You know yeah. what I mean? The some of the worst people in the world are. But I mean, but they're in the same yep. position, right? They've all, yeah. They're all. They're <laughs> all fully agree with that statement. Yeah. <laughs> if you're in middle management, sort your fucking life out. <laughs> or but they've all got targets too. Do like it. they're. It's. It, you know what I mean? It's just the way. It's. <laughs> Stop sucking. <laughs> 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 Too much? Too much. We'll cut I can't out. tell people to <laughs> if they're in middle management. No, no, no. no you shouldn't. No. 
I want to. We <laughs> almost always. Just, <laughs> just quit your job, not your life. Yeah. <laughs> Find or something. Or quit that bad attitude. Or tell Jeff Bezos to suck a dick. Bezos or Bezos? I don't care to find out. I don't respect him enough. I'm not going to learn what his name Who's is. Who's buying shit off Amazon? Employees as well. like shit. I, I have bought e books. I've bought an ebook. Uh, These bought, cunts. What have you well, used? it's the e-books you don't have to go. Some don't, don't have to go get off a shelf. Some don't know have to go get that off the shelf. <laughs> 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 but I think I did buy something once, like a, an actual physical book years ago from Amazon. Oh, yeah. I've well, definitely bought What a story. What a story. Uh, there is one thing that I have to say about this game is that there's not a level where you do an upper decker in the staff toilet. <laughs> Which an upper decker? Is upper that where you take the cistern off? And take the cistern and, and you take a dump in the cistern. <laughs> oh I would encourage... I would... If you haven't done an upper decker at a workplace that you hated, I don't think that you've lived. Oh, yeah. Have you done that? Yes. See. No, are you serious? Yes, I've taken an upper decker at a workplace. <laughs> are you fucking serious? <laughs> yes. <laughs> who do you think had to clean that up? The boss who you were mad at? Yes. Or some cleaner who's getting paid minimum wage had to fish your I shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was about to ask more questions. Gotcha! I have a good question. <laughs> okay, so I, I was so mad. <laughs> But it is funny to upper deck someone. Well, I well, saw a poo. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God, I interrupted Kate, and then I heard what you were saying. I was like, good. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a poo in a cistern once, and I, <laughs> I it made, loved it. It made me think that that's where poos go when you flush the toilet. Wait, so you've been and upper decking the whole time? <laughs> no, no, no. As in, like, you you poo where you meant to poo yeah. and you press flush and it sends the wee away and for some reason in my head I'm like, well, it just for years and probably until now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that, not until now, but fairly recently, it... <laughs> <laughs> definitely over the age of 15. Uh, that it, it holds the poo for a bit and then it just lets it go. It definitely holds the poo. I fucking hate this Someone so much. Someone upper decked... So much. I'm like, the fuck? Someone upper decked a theatre that I work at, or worked at, and the boss did actually <laughs> go and take it out. Really? Yeah. That's funny, because I used to work at a cinema too, and then someone's like, someone did a shit on the floor, and I was like, oh, yeah. make, make me, I'm not fucking doing it. So then the manager had to do it too. So. Yeah, so actually, uh, it was a theatre though, not a cinema. Okay, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it on the floor as well. What? You've I, seen a poo? I've seen a poo I hate well. this! <laughs> what I hate right this next, so much! It's a wedding! Is it a wedding? Is someone... I was working a wedding Who and does someone, a human shit at a wedding? I don't know! There was, <laughs> there was just the log next to like... Here's the toilet bowl and, and there's the log. It's like... Maybe it was the bride. Like, Whoop! <laughs> it's hard to see underneath Maybe that the bride is so big. <laughs> You're like... She's like, I think I got it. Yeah. <laughs> and I gotta go! I didn't hear anything, but it's very soundproof underneath there. <laughs> Yum! Oh, Stop it! I mean, brides <laughs> brides are know. always tooting. <laughs> yeah. If you, know, if you, if you see tooting. the underneath of a bride's dress, it is all just, it's chaos. <laughs> <laughs> it's like cans and shit that she's picked up along the street when yeah. she's been walking. <laughs> it's a lost sparrow yeah. and a loose <laughs> poop. Um. Stop! Stop it! I hate I hate it so much. I'm How much do you? Upset. What do you hate more, Jeff Bezos? Yeah. <laughs> Talking about human poo. Uh, <laughs> that uh, Jeff Bezos. Allegedly, hey, worse than human poo. Allegedly. <laughs> what? Allegedly. Allegedly, I feel you that hate way. him more than a poo. <laughs> Why? Um, let's write to Amazon. <laughs> Kate's just scared we're gonna get sued. Did you? <laughs> you think Jeff Bezos is watching this right now, going? Gamey, gamey, game. don't like me. <laughs> He's the richest man on the planet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, subscribe to our Patreon, please, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You get a little big boy. A little one of these. Um, well, you don't now. No, I no. missed the thing. Look, if people... No. The... <laughs> Were you about to finally bend on the pin thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, we've got some left, and if people do now, then we will. Says Ben, who allegedly is not involved. I am <laughs> the one. He does no me. admin for this. Um, he I makes me drive him here. <laughs> yeah, very last minute as well. I was on my tram, being like, oh, 
She's already left the house, buddy. <laughs> and I then an hour later, I was like, what's your address? <laughs> <laughs> I know Naomi. I know, she <laughs> I know she wouldn't have left. <laughs> um, the, do you think this is a, a good way to c convey reporting like this? Like, It's I, such a good way. I, I was like, I feel like I can't win. Yeah. And that's how you they feel. feel. Yeah, I was like, damn, this is frustrating as shit. Because it's one thing to hear... Um, they feel like they aren't allowed to go to the toilet, but I think when you put it in this way, then you actually understand why. You'd be like, oh yeah, okay, I wouldn't go to the toilet either. Mm. Yeah. Do you think in the future all our news will be via games? Might teach people Funny a thought. bit of fucking empathy. Yeah. Sing it. Crush it. Smash it. Smash it. Grab it. Seeing it, smash it, Graham. Work. <laughs> <laughs> Harp it, uh, what other What other news <laughs> would you like made into a game? How would you? This. This? This show. Gamey, gamey, game, yeah. game. Yeah. This isn't news. It's like, yell at Evan. <laughs> <laughs> Evan, you play, Derail. <laughs> you play as Evan and it's hopeless yeah. and you try and stick to the point the and talk about games. Keeps like. Yeah. <laughs> Your blood pressure has, <laughs> is high. <laughs> Your ben, guests are screeching. <laughs> ben has broken a sweat and is going to punch you in the face. <laughs> is it dry? <laughs> um, you should see my pants. <laughs> They're wet. Uh, <laughs> thanks. It's going to be an uncomfortable walk home for you. <laughs> Naomi, can I have a lift? No. <laughs> not after all that upper decking. What's wrong with upper Gross. decking? Stop it. No, I don't want to bring it up again. Please you don't. You just did. No, I know. Please don't. Uh, <laughs> the latest in the fighter series, Dead or Alive, was planned to be less sexualized and more realistic than it's uh, <laughs> it earned a reputation for. <laughs> <laughs> but can you really teach an old dog new tricks? Let's take a look at the trailer. So that was a look at the trailer for Dead or Alive 6. Ah. It's, um, I, I, I don't think they've delivered on this less sexualized, more realistic sort yeah. of approach. Evan, Did you, get you a have beat? to understand, the fact that they all have huge tits is canon. <laughs> you can't just shrink all their tits, yeah, except for the true. tiny baby one who's going for a different demographic of horny. <laughs> <laughs> She's allowed to have smaller tits. Is she the new one? She's a scientist, I think. Is she the little baby? <laughs> well. Hello, I'm a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one with the pigtails, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very classic scientist garb. It seems... It does. <laughs> She's a scientist. <laughs> yeah. Well, the blonde one with the gothic shit. Huh? <laughs> no, I think that's, I think <laughs> that's Marie Rose. <laughs> How, why do you know their names? Well, Marie well we, have, we, Rose. we have them... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. My beautiful but also baby Marie Rose. Yeah, Marie Rose. Yeah, Marie Rose, the little Nico, Nico, the little goth baby. Nico, well, Nico's, Nico's the scientist. A scientist, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, Nico's new for Dead or Alive Six. The, it is toned down a bit, mm. like it, c compared to previous games where it's been like overtly advertised as 
a sexy Horn town. Yeah. boobs fighter. <laughs> yeah, they're wearing clothes. I mean, yes. skin tight clothes, but clothes. But yeah, yeah. But their boots are still like, like they're not. They can't wear a sports bra. They're wearing push-up bras for some reason. Well, some of them not even. It's like it's like you got the nipple, <laughs> and they do and then that. You got the cloth right above that. And, and they for still. For some reason, they're doing sports, but the boobs are not. Because okay, if you wore that and you had those boobs and you were doing those sports. Chaos. Yeah. They flop out immediately. But they still kind of stay. Well, they'll be standing and be like, I won. And they'll just, <laughs> and they'll just be like, moving. <laughs> it's like there's an ocean <laughs> that's just on the on the titty. The they, they're titty. so big, they have a lot of like inertia. Like, yeah. Yeah. It takes it's a like lot a of time train. to stop a moving train. <laughs> <laughs> like, the characters also sweat in this as well. This is a new. Not like me. Not like, Not like Ben. <laughs> um, <laughs> But it is so. So it is kind of from the outset. It is toned down a bit, but but it's not like they've removed this stuff. It's you can still. There are still skimpy outfits that you can unlock. Yes. It's just sort of the reward for playing the game, I guess. There's a uh, heap of upskirting in this and game. And there's a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. like camera angles. And there's a lot of that. Well, there is like <laughs> if you play any of the the female characters in in skirts and that sort of thing, you, you're seeing their underwear quite a lot. I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is not as good as Dead or Alive uh, Beach Ball. <laughs> beach, beach, splat. No, hang on. That's Senra Spring Kigura. Break. <laughs> uh, uh, beach beach, spring Break. Yeah, what was the Beach Volleyball one? Oh, man. It was so horny, dude. <laughs> you wouldn't <laughs> even believe. Like, this is not horny, and I'm going to take points away from it for being less horny. <laughs> um, so it was a shame. It was a shame that uh, Team Ninja betrayed their audience by not making this as horny, <laughs> personally. It's... Is tricky, like in a in in this day and age, it just feels like this sort of I don't know, booby fighters just aren't like. Well, it's always what it's always. That's funny, PC gone mad. But initially, well. like, I want to. Sorry, uh, one second. I just want to finish the sentence. It just doesn't seem like they fit anymore, right? It's a shame. It's a shame. No, no. You no. said it's a shame. Yeah, I weep at night. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they take my boobies? Oh. <laughs> Why did go to sleep? <laughs> That's you, Beck. Computer games is the only way that I can see real boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kate. Oh, no, I was going to say it's always been bad, and uh, just now everyone's talking about it. Yeah, yeah totally. But it's always been bad. Yeah. But the thing is, like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I will run. Brave for- alert. America 2020, I am your new president. Um, <laughs> the. I. <laughs> I d- yeah, I don't know. It's like, uh, I don't know how to talk about this. It makes me feel like shit. Because I remember being like a kid and not understanding this stuff, but just knowing that this is bad for, for me, for my end result. This is bad. Mm. I didn't know that. <laughs> I, I didn't yeah. know it was bad. I, I just know. knew I wanted bigger boobies. <laughs> 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 Give them titties. <laughs> Have um, you ever, sorry, you can. Have I ever had big boobies? <laughs> no, that was not what I was going to ask. <laughs> um, what, what were you going to ask? I was just going to say, uh, maybe, have you guys ever considered doing the voiceover work for this stuff? Well, I know someone who should. <laughs> I forget what I said before. I said something. <gasps> just say anything. Just say, I'm here to fight. <laughs> I'm here to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, are you by any chance uh, uh, Elliot? Uh, ah, my breasts are still growing. <laughs> <laughs> now do it like you're Herbert five years older, but still her. Huh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I finally got my period. <laughs> Cause she's a little baby girl. I'd love to be a fly on the wall in the voiceover like recordings sessions of that mm. be like uh yeah that was great can you just sound more like a sexy baby <laughs> <laughs> like these uh yeah less 1920s more modern please <gasps> yeah that's perfect i built my diaper <laughs> <laughs> someone come change it for me <laughs> <laughs> that's what they're doing stop, stop turning a blind eye I I found the story part of this to be pretty hard to follow. Um, what? I don't I don't really know any much of the background of this because I've sort of played played the Dead or Alive series here and there. Um, 
and haven't really followed it through. But the way they kind of structure the story mode is it's broken down into these quite short scenes in this grid with like episodes and and chapters and stuff that just made very little sense to me um, with all these sort of multiple concurrent storylines. Um, Everyone I, who seems to have to talk to each other, have to, they have to fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, there are, some, there are some scenes that happen with no fights, and that's quite boring. <laughs> but, but then you complain when they're like, hey, I need you to do this thing for me. I just need to make sure that you're able. And yeah. then they punch each other it's in the just, face, and you're like, that's unrealistic. But it's just not a good reason to have a fight, right? What was that? But it's a secret, okay? <laughs> you come up with reasons to have fights, Evan. I'm sure it gets pretty They're hard after a while. <laughs> Someone walks in and they knock your yogurt out of your hand. <laughs> that seems like a good reason, right? <laughs> Two. They don't like your tweet on, about the ABC. <laughs> Guys, Excellent. Evan did a joke tweet about the ABC. Right. Give it a like. Okay. It was love Excellent. Fun. Came out of nowhere. <laughs> impressed us all. <laughs> it's not very... All right. Uh, do <laughs> people really... Is is the fact that it has a shit story, is that even... Does it like, matter? Does it... Are, we, are people playing Dead or Alive for the well, story? No, but I, I, I just kind of wanted to play through the story and I've, I found that to be a kind of a weirdly disjointed sort of experience. I didn't really know quite what was going on or or what I should do next or but Is that because whatever. you're stepping in at number six instead of playing it for like like you got Fast and Furious and yeah. you got Furious and then you got Furious Five and it's like if you come in at Tokyo Drift, do not expect me <laughs> to have to explain to you who these characters are. That's sure. Right. Sure. I've not seen Tokyo Drift. I do not know. But Isn't even... that is that the second one? No, it's a third one. I think it's the uh, third. It actually exists outside of the uh, <laughs> main franchise. Yeah, it's not actually canon. Definitely. It is canon, but it's actually <laughs> set in the future. But... <laughs> so no one's asking you to explain that one, if that's the... Yeah. <laughs> all the ones yeah. to choose, that is the one that uh, would not work in the context of... May maybe... Yes. <laughs> ma but there's still <laughs> new characters with new storylines that are starting in this that I'd, I'd still... It's just the way that it's presented. It, it just kind of gets in the way of, oh. of getting sort of more uh, into it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> My name is. I uh, fight this girl that, with a huge That tips. scene was a bit weird. Like they just they bump into each other. She's. Uh, I, I don't know why they're fighting. <laughs> My name's Greg. I'm in charge of breast physics. I <laughs> uh, spent a lot of time doing measurements. I'm very good at math and studying the breast. Uh, and it's my job to make sure that they move. Um, yeah, yeah, question. Yeah. Do you think this job could be better filled by someone who actually has breasts? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not about the breasts, it's about the physics. I know math and I know physics, all right? So it's not, the breasts are inconsequential. <laughs> you have to be objective. Yeah, that's right. I'm emotionless. Greg, why do you, why do you, why, why do you lock your office? What's going on in Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing's going on. The cleaners need to come in at night? I don't want them back. snooping around on my stuff. A lot of big formulas and problems that I've got to solve. Apparently there's a lot of paperwork in there that we we just need to make sure there's not. Yeah, it's, it's just paperwork. It's just nothing. Yeah, it could be a fire hazard though. Yeah, okay, leave me my stuff, okay? Don't touch my stuff. Okay, I'm Greg. I'm in charge of game uh, breast physics, okay? <laughs> Sandy, head of cleaning, nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm sorry that I upper decked. <laughs> I appreciate the apology, usually I never know who it is. I just got so angry. <laughs> um, the breast is an unsolvable formula. <laughs> so I put, I put the breast, uh, breast physics formula on a whiteboard and then you solved it. Oh! I Google oh. hunting you. I yeah, was about could. to say, it's like a beautiful mind in your room mm. with all the newspaper cut out. Beautiful mind, it. Google hunting. Yeah. All, <laughs> great, films. all great films. Um, <laughs> around breasts. It's all about breasts. That yeah. boobies. <laughs> Subjects. On channel movies. Um, <laughs> finally, something we agree on. I, uh, <laughs> to boobies. I like uh, yeah. as a... Uh, Evan. What? To boobies. Evan. <laughs> <clears throat> you got a trick? Oh. Eyes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> what? Never mind. That's a funny um, joke. I liked playing as uh, Kazumi and Hayate. They were kind of my. How big are their tits? Or <laughs> well, Hayate is a dude. So, uh, oh, check so it like all. real check small titties then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still have to do the breast physics for the dudes. Okay. <laughs> Kazumi is one of the ones with the, with, you know, moderately sized. That's what you call moderate, okay? Well, <laughs> I don't think she's has she's the biggest ones. She's turned around, but... <laughs> In that picture, yeah. But the boobs We're gonna still have to like... We're going to have to talk to Craig because <laughs> I don't understand the physics on this one. Um, Hanoka has... <laughs> <laughs> Hanoka! There's a character called her knocker. Hanukkah? I don't know. <laughs> I really thought you were just like, her knocker is huge. To be fair. Oh, That what? right knocker. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Big knocker. Anyway. Anyway. Knock, so knock, knocking so on her knockers. Uh, <laughs> Kazumi and Hayate, their uh, fighting style is ninjutsu. And I enjoyed... More like Nintitsu. <laughs> so I, I kind of... Come on. And I, I, love I like playing as those guys. Um, I love a horny episode again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's Welcome. been a while since we've really horned it up in here. I just want to say that I'm all about it. Welcome to the up late edition of Any Game Again. Ooh, we're going to give you all the games. <laughs> Um, Hayate's catchphrase is, I can hear the wind crying. I don't know what that means. It sounds oh. like some sort of a ninja thing. <laughs> poorly translated. Do they just mean rain? <laughs> What's that crying? <laughs> it's just the wind. <laughs> that's, that's what I told my parents. <laughs> um, I didn't like Brad Wong. <laughs> Uh, Brad Wong, he has like the the drunk fighting side. Brad Wong. Brad yeah. Brad yeah. Wong. I love this guy. He was impossible to fight with. Yeah, yeah. I don't like this very, smug look on his he, face. He's very tricky. Like fighting against him, it's very hard to know kind of pretty what he's going to do. And and playing as him, it's it. I found it quite confusing. Very as well. wobbly experience. I played as Christy, and her boobs are great. <laughs> great. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ayana, I really liked as uh, well. Big. Real big. Okay, but what did she study at university, Ben? Did you ask about that? I think she's an assassin, so she assesses. Well, I'm sure she did do a lot of training to get to that point, and it's probably not just about her boobs. It's probably about her parents that she had to kill to get there. Did she kill her parents? So that she could have boobs. <laughs> um, Once you kill your parents, you inherit their boobs. I it's did true. not know that. It's true. Um, it's how a girl becomes a woman. What's going to happen? <laughs> Once we get uh, reach peak boob, Otherwise known as the nipple. Uh, <laughs> uh, do we go to? Do we have a dead or alive where they just got huge lips? We have big lip dead or alive. Yeah, Greg's going to have to open up a new division for the lip yeah, division. Lip, lip physics. We have butts. Do we have huge butts? Butts are in right now. You know what I mean? Sure. Butts are big. Eh. Testicle division. Testicle div. Testicle. Hi, hi, Tony. Test I work on testicles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. You're only in testicle division. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> work hard enough and you'll make it to Wang. <laughs> <laughs> they are two separate divisions. There's the Wang division and then the balls division. We left testicle, right testicle. And the balls are always underneath the Wang. <laughs> <laughs> We've had on this show a character that works in pain development, but I don't know what... <laughs> pain what, development. Know what, uh, let me show you around Quantic Dream. <laughs> this is Terry. Uh, he is in charge of peen development. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he keeps to himself. <laughs> <laughs> they never let me show them. Uh, truth be told, we've actually cut the pain, but uh, we're not going to tell him. He freaks me out. <laughs> he's, he's dead. I'm in charge of pain. I've made eight more. <laughs> I modelled them all after my own. Yes. <laughs> you ever had to take a laser scan of your pee? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I also liked playing as um, Marie Rose. The baby. The tiny baby. Yeah, the she's baby? A, her oh, bio yeah. says she's an 18-year-old Swedish maid. 
I think. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Honestly. I'm subservient. <laughs> her, no, her catchphrase is, I believe I shall take out the garbage. Oh, that's Because that is on. my job. It's her job. She's a cleaner. It's part of my job. Um, <laughs> But her fighting style is. Why, why does she dress like a sexy maid goth baby? <laughs> because Maybe she's Swedish, off. Naomi. <laughs> she has a Russian fighting style, Sistema, which is which is kind of cool, very fast paced. So she's fun to play as. I know Sistema. Do you really? Mm. No. I want a paper pen. A paper pen. Oh, very <laughs> official. It looks like a Harry Potter wand. <laughs> Dear diary. <laughs> Dear diary, <laughs> I was talking about boobs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the first entry I've ever made in this diary. <laughs> I've had to write a diary. I've, I've had this it. diary for five years. <laughs> Finally, something to say. <laughs> uh, um, there's some fun environmental hazards in the game, mm. uh, which you know just sort of make it a little bit more um, exciting. All you, in all, yes, I found I do find. And I have found this. I mean, I like Mortal Kombat, and I like uh, uh, the the DC one. What's it called? Marvel vs. DC. No, Batman. The, oh, no, the Batman one. The in, the hero. I'm the Batman. <laughs> <Not Marvel. laughs> Patrick. Injustice. Injustice. I really yes. liked Injustice, and I like Mortal Kombat. I like ones where you kind of ha- it's it's a little bit more kind of heightened and crazy, you know. With, yeah. With, and this one is just a little bit. It's like you can punch and you can grapple, and then you gotta do have a special, but it's just like a big punch. Um, yeah, well, it's, it's good. Like ripping people's heads off or firing lasers <laughs> into them, and or like bring, bringing in an interdimensional earth and then crushing right. them with it. Like, but you can do it. There's a bit of environmental stuff like bashing them against a gas tank that explodes or yeah, kicking I, them over a cliff or something. Yeah, I um, I pushed a woman out a window and yeah. another man... I what about the ga- in the game? That's <laughs> <laughs> how I got my boobies. Uh, they, uh, <laughs> if, you, if you kill a woman, you take her boobies? Is that what you... It was my mum. Pamela my Anderson mom. That's how I killed my mother. is a monster. <laughs> Um, and she's on the loose. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, the environmental stuff's kind of cool. Like I, I um, pushed a man up against uh, those sandbags that they have in the army. Sandbags. Yeah. Sandbags. sandbags. Yeah. Army sandbags. And then, and then a tank was like, "Oh no, you're dirt!" And like, I pushed it, pushed him back in. It went, hip, 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 and it pushed him like that. Oh yeah. It was like, bim, 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 bim. and he had, to, and then. And I just did this because I was like, I want to see that tank again. I want to see that tank again. No, you don't. I did that. You look um, like a child in therapy. <laughs> in many ways, she is. <laughs> I'll never sort out my problems with professionals. Did you enjoy playing this, Kate? Uh, I, uh, I just, I don't know how to play it. I just button mashed it. Um, yeah. well, that, you did quite you, well. You can do, you can do you. pretty well button mashing to a degree. Um, yeah, I can see why this is enjoyable. It's not my kind of game, but mm. I can see why people like punching other people. It's fun. It's um, it, it's a pretty solid fighting game, I think. Like, I, I prefer the Tekken games, even though they're not quite as fast paced as this. Mm. Um, but it's kind of I, what, one thing I like about the Tekken series is they usually throw in something kind of fun, um, in addition to the regular fighting modes like. Uh, Tekken Tag Tournament had Tekken Bowling, which was lots of fun. And then they've also got other game modes like, um, you know, side-scrolling versions and like all those sort of little extras that are kind of nice to make it a more complete package as a game. Whereas this one doesn't really have anything other than like, the, I mean, the story mode is like, yeah, it's, you know, a pretty perplexing, but they've got the regular like arcade and versus modes and that sort of thing. But like for $89, it's it just feels like, so many games, well, I thought. This would be complete <coughs> if only there was a bowling mini well, game. if there was a... <laughs> yeah, I, if, I would appreciate uh, like some, uh, some extras like that. That will you add value. If you are worried about more extras, after buying the $89 <laughs> title, you can fork out $130 for the season pass. Yes. Where you get two new characters... Excuse me? ...and 69... Yee! Costumes. I think it was going to be 62. Well, I said 62 <laughs> because it's funnier. <laughs> okay, sorry. I didn't want to. That's fucked up. Yeah, it's if I was to get this game, which I never, ever would, yeah. I would get. I, I would pay $130. For the for, strap-on pass. For the strap-on pass. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. um, I want strap to on, fight. Strap in. I want to fight. What? I want it to mimic my own real life, which is fighting with a strap-on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Then. Fight. It's you beating. I'm Someone the strap up. man. <laughs> Do I have a strap on in this scenario? Yeah. Huh. I thought that's what yeah. you said. I don't know what I said. You think I, I listen? You're fighting your think I listen to this fucking nonsense? <laughs> that's how you get by. Yeah. <laughs> I shut it all out. <laughs> I managed to kill someone by sitting on their face at one point. Uh, and, yeah, but what in the game? You! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got him. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's too loaded, guys. It's too, it's too big. Uh, and that season pass doesn't even include DLC. <laughs> Any DLC uh, that they release. <laughs> That's just for that. that. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy. So if you spend, if you buy the digital deluxe ver version, yes. which, oh, the double D edition. Yes, <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> double D ver edition. Which, to be honest, none of these women are double D, by the way. They're all at least in an E. <laughs> oh yeah, oh so yeah. Check we're in page. like F. Yeah, we're we're beyond F G. You can spend two hundred odd dollars on this. You can spend a lot of money on this game. This one game. Yeah, that's not. In my opinion, very good. Mm. I was a little bit disappointed by the the look of the game. Like it's the Dead or Alive games always used to push the envelope a bit from a technical point of view. <laughs> Keep <laughs> the ice in there. Um, you know, with physics and 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 graphics, and they they used to be. I mean, remember back in the day on PS2 and stuff, they were. Really great, but this this one like it feels like it hasn't really advanced all that much. The physics are a little bit like <laughs> things like hair and clothing is not quite. Right. Sorry, sorry, Evan, could you not talk over the can? <laughs> oh. What the fuck? This can needs to check its prostate. <laughs> Coming out now. Sorry, please continue, Evan. I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> that's, that's all. Maybe we should just... Um... No, no, no. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit ugly. Yeah, I mean, it's the, the, the mouths don't move much when they talk. At, like, all those sort of little things are just like... It feels yeah, it's right. not realistic. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it, it feels like the series used to really push the envelope with, on the tech side and now... And on it, the tit it, side. <laughs> And now it feels like <laughs> they spent all their money on <laughs> breast physics. <laughs> Maybe. But even the breast physics aren't that. Like it's it's just. How dare you! Uh, I spent my life <laughs> studying the breast. I live by the breast. I die by the breast. <laughs> um, EA and BioWare's latest action RPG anthem has crash landed into our living rooms. But after a bit of a rocky launch, is it gonna take off? Let's take a look at the trailer. You are the chosen few, protectors of our world. This is your time. Out there, you will fight the unimaginable. Feel the power of your javelin, its precision. Rely on each other. Unleash your power. Never give up. Ready, Javelin 1? Let's go! You are freelancers. So that was a look at the trailer for Anthem. Ah! Ben, you've been playing a bit of Anthem. I have. Do you have, is, is it mixed feelings still? Yes. It, it's like there's, okay, the good thing is, is that the combat, fun. Lots of fun. Flying yeah. around is fun. Yeah, but totally. Flying Woo! in this game is like a microcosm of what, this is wrong with this game. Like, you can fly for a little bit, but you overheat and you can't fly. Yes. So, like, Bioware just consistently just, puts, gives you something fun and then puts <laughs> shitty roadblocks in the way. So, you, you just got to be a bit more strategic enjoy. about your flying. Fly down by the water and dive and up. And eh. You fly as a man? 
As a woman as well, you can pick your gender. <laughs> I, I just meant... Oh, you, <laughs> I'm sick of feminazis. You, <laughs> um, you wear a javelin, you wear a suit basically that... Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's so called you know, it's a javelin. Like... Uh, no, you're flying in a, in a suit. Do you think there's something sexy about where you get into the, <laughs> into the suit? Uh, you are so horny. <laughs> With one of the it. ones, the the uh, uh, the fast one. What's it called? What's that fast? There's the Colossus, the Ranger, the Storm, Flash? and the, the Flash, the Quick Boy. Quick Boy. I don't the, know. Oh, girl. The, the Quick one. That's what he did. Has before. childbearing hips. The Quick <laughs> suit. So no matter what gender you are, the Quick suit has these like <laughs> sweet ass. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so I it's love like, that. Hey, I'm just gonna go in. <laughs> Oh, hey, everybody. <laughs> I got a sweet ass. <laughs> yeah, it's that sweet ass looking one. The green one? That one with the fucking sexy butt. <laughs> I want to see sweet ass. Yeah, that sweet booty. Um, <laughs> it's two games. You get two games. Yes, yes. A lot of people have been saying this. Yeah. <laughs> it's two for the price of one. Yeah, it's just... What are the games? You get the walking simulator in the <laughs> Fort Tarsus. Yeah. Which is boring. <laughs> and you have to talk to people. Yeah. Because you get like points to talk to people. So I'm just sitting there just going <laughs> like escape, escape, escape. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't fucking care. Yeah. And then I'm like, get me to the action. And then you have to wait ages to actually get to the action. And then it feels like it's like 10 minutes of play, which is great. Mm. And then ages more. You have to go, go back to the forge, loading, go back to Fort Tarsus, loading. Go into caves like, like you just are waiting. The most uh, most of your time in this game, you're waiting for the game to play. Yes, the loading screens are too frequent. It just wastes your time. At yeah. every chance, Bioware wastes your time. And I think <laughs> uh, like a lot of the hate for this game is people going, Bioware is not Mass Effect anymore. No, it's not. Mm. It's stupid of you to even think that. Like, but uh, the game's not good. I wouldn't buy this game. I'm going to play it. I'm going to keep playing it. Yeah. But I'm not going to buy it. it. The next DLC is until May. Like, the game needs content so badly. Mm. Like, there is not very much to do in game. And yet, we have, you got to wait. People are going to have to wait till May. And then they're kind of mm -hmm. like trying to fix it as it goes. I would say, like, wait a fucking year to buy Anthem. Yeah. It feels like a bit of a wait and see. Yeah. I liked, I liked that the, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we're talking about all. games, so. I liked every feature, my name is Evan, I host a show and I'm talking about a game. Talking I liked about how, <laughs> like compared to Dead or Alive, for example, I liked how expressive the characters were, that was a nice little touch. Like it, it felt like the story was, was not very interesting, but the characters were kind of, they, they were well mo-capped. Yeah, um, and and expressive and interesting characters, I guess. But the the story is just so like perplexing. Like it's 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 there's just so much kind of going on. Polygon did this. Uh, the, their summary of the of, of what's going on was: You're a freelancer working with ciphers who are aboard Striders, heading into a cataclysm caused by Shaper technology that harnesses the anthem of creation. You must get past the Titans to find the Cenotaph <laughs> at the center of the Heart of Rage. You later have to contend with Scars, Arcanists, the Monitor, and Corvus. It just oh, yeah. throws all these like made-up bullshit <laughs> words at you, and expects you to give a shit. When you have no idea what the hell they're talking about. Yeah, exactly. It's just so it's just too much to take in, really. And it doesn't make you care about any of it. Like No, and they don't tell you how to play the game and Yeah, I kinda struggled. Like the sexy javelin. <laughs> the you have to the remap what? your keys. Like I played it on PC. Yeah. The sexy javelin is all about melee. What is sexy javelin? The one with the great ass. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, the sexy javelin, you've got a um, Remap your keys because the as the on PC it doesn't really work. You have to the melee is kind of in a you know mm. weird position, so you have to redo it. So that's kind of ill thought out. Um, <laughs> yeah, a bit of this feels like it's um, not well optimized for PC. 
Mm. Like the the menus are pretty confusing. Oh, I don't know menus. if that's I, I didn't play on console. Oh, but the menus. Uh, well, the menus are like the uh, worst. Uh, it's some of the worst menus that's I've fun. ever seen. It it, it it makes a difference. Like it makes a difference to how you like you have to understand how the game works, and the menus are pretty important to to that. Things like challenges are just hidden. Right. How to find? Oh, you have to do all these challenges. Where? <laughs> It's in like one menu, then another one, then you have to go into this sub menu and yeah. click on this, and it's just like, what the fuck are you thinking? I remember you know when I, mean? I first played, I was playing the beta, and I was I couldn't work out how to get to to play the game. <laughs> I was like to like start an expedition or whatever. I was just like, what? How do? I, what? I'm pressing the button. What? What's going on? Why can't I do this? Um, and I realized there was a button somewhere else to do it. But it's, it, yeah, it's confusing. People want to like this game. Like, I really want to internet, like it. There's a lot of hate for it, but people <laughs> want to like it. And yeah. it's got ingredients that are like yum, yum, yum. But then... It looks cool. Like, it, it you know, the E3 demos and stuff like that, it just looks... What's going on? <laughs> I'm trying to draw the dog and I'm so bad at drawing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. wow. That's terrible. <laughs> You getting that? You getting that? That's you. I am sweating so much as well. <laughs> We're all sweating. It's 37 degrees today. It's so hot. <laughs> I'm not sweating yet. Under the arms, yeah. <laughs> but sweating no, you're, can't. You're a dry brown man. Still. Yeah. To this day. Thankfully. So you can keep that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> That's yours. Uh, what do you think, Evan? Um, I like it again. I, I think the the gameplay is really fun, and I just kind of want more of that. But <laughs> <laughs> it's not food. There's nothing nutritious Eat it. about it. <laughs> no. Oh, he's embarrassed. Uh, yeah, reason with the dog, Evan. <laughs> I thought it looked great, even if it's not like super well optimized. Um, it. I, on on my home computer anyway, I was getting you know I was getting good frame rates and that sort of thing, um, but I still kind of I still turned down the settings a little bit even though I've got a, a 1080 Ti. Um, it, I still kind I, I just dropped it a bit from the higher settings just because it was feeling a little bit sluggish, which kind of shouldn't. I feel like it shouldn't really happen. Like Metro Exodus was running fine. I feel like this should run fine. Keep talking, Evan. Jeez. <laughs> I did get like 2,000 plus frames per second in the loading screens though, which is fun. <laughs> That's in the dog's butt. Um, I, really like, I really like the, the flying around. I liked the gameplay loop. Like, I, 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 I thought it was fine. It's it, all kind I, of it the would same. Get, it, yeah, I, I imagine it would probably get boring after a while, as, as these things sort of do. But It does, but it's still fun. You know what I mean? Like, even if yeah. even though you do pretty much the same thing over and over again in, the, in this game. It's fun enough, and the combos yeah. are fun. And so that's why I kind of have, I'm, I'm reasonably optimistic about it. I feel like I, I have faith that they can they can fix it. They can fix the problems. I think hard. it feels like loading screens is something that they can fix. The amount of content in there is something that they can fix. Quickly, Evan, quickly, Evan, before they uh, start to really upstage you, quickly. <laughs> so I, I, I'm optimistic. I think this game will, will get good. Um, and I, I, I'm not, I'm not ready to, to trash it. I would give this game. I'm not gonna trash it, but give it a strong hard year, like, yeah. and then buy it or get it on sale. Like, there is no point buying it right now. It is not good right now. It hopefully will be good, but uh, EA, like they do with Star Wars, has like pretty has really fucked Bioware and are a terrible company, and you get. Exactly that in this game. <laughs> I'm so Good sorry. <laughs> I like it. it is. He's having fun. No one Great ruins time. things that you like harder than EA. Mm. Really? Um, First comes to my end of, end of my piece. This is a game and this is EA. Yeah. <laughs> oh. See, it all comes oh. together. It's us. That's EA and that is Anthem. And that's Bioware. Yeah. <laughs> he looks really cute from this angle. So cute, little flappy ears. <laughs> you gonna need more paper? More paper. <laughs> He's 
is. Yeah. yeah. Does anyone have any documents that we get rid of? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's really oh. getting into it now. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe we should maybe we should wrap it up. Sure. Can you believe before but we thought we'd derailed it? <laughs> 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 Woo! No. Um, um, maybe we should do a Patreon question. Oh yeah. It's it's like it's Can like we get another shot of the this? same the um, thing. Yeah. That you can see. <laughs> I'm free for weddings and bar mitzvahs, <laughs> bat mitzvahs. Court dates. Court dates. <laughs> I am absolutely available for court. <laughs> um, What's up? All right, Mike Ustendorf asked. That's not a real you name. Smell. It is a real name. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, Mike has been supporting the show for a while. And Thanks, Mikey. Mike's great. Mike, Mike Ustendorf. Um, what is a game you have retroactively regretted playing? Uh, what's that one? That you uh, had to squirt off all the women, all the chicks' <laughs> clothes. Senra and Kagura. I was like, fuck yeah, this is going to be sick. And then we played it and was like, oh. <laughs> this, what do you mean you thought it was going to be sick? Because like titties and boobies and <laughs> You actually titties. thought that would be good. Yeah, man, I love a big horn boy. But, <laughs> but it felt really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> when you played it, you were like, yes. And then you went. Oh no, I don't want anyone to see this. <laughs> I don't want to tell anyone about this. Uh. Is it because you have to make the woman submit? Yeah, it's some, no, it's <laughs> weird. You like have to squirt them real hard and then you squirt it. And then they squirt out and then you, they're like, oh, you squirted me. And they don't, they're like, no. Yeah, it's not good. And they're it's not like, great. ah, don't. And it's You're not like, even ah. good it, Yeah. That made me feel bad. I felt some kind of badness, which was a relief to be honest. Mm. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. Guess I'm one of the good ones. Anyway, back to squirting these titties. <laughs> oh, no, I definitely still kept on squirting those titties. <laughs> Someone explained the concept to me, and I thought, yes, but then when I was doing the concept, I felt bad. <laughs> My brain does not work properly. <laughs> um, have you guys regretted any games? Um, regretted games it's it, more just like I've seen a game been like oh that's a bit much for me I won't you ever no, squirted you get it. I've never squirted a woman's clothes off no well <laughs> but it is how you get lived. dressed in the morning <laughs> <laughs> well you squirt a, well you squirt clothes on it's a mix of both <laughs> it's exhausting and takes three hours <laughs> it's complicated people are like why do women take so long to get ready we're squirting our clothes on oh, give me more water I'll be quicker um, I got, I think I've talked about it on here before, I played Everybody's Gone to the Rapture and, ev oh, yeah. and it's a story game and the whole concept is you walk and then you hear conversations and then you walk some more. Oh yes. And then I didn't. It is a walking simulator. And sure. then I didn't know that so every time someone talked I just went on my phone and then <laughs> after a few hours I was like, when does the game start? <laughs> it was like a five hour game so. Yeah, it's really boring. Yeah. That. <laughs> no, I didn't like it. I like puzzles. Yeah, puzzles also, are that um, what was that? Uh, the spooky one. Squirting. Squirting. <laughs> yeah. Squirts. Spooky, spooky squirts. Spooky squirts. <laughs> um, the the zombie one that Wasn't I just downloaded. Yeah, that's shit. <laughs> Fuck that. Scary. Oh, you, got, you got spooked. Yeah, I was uh, like, I hate this. This is unpleasant. Why'd you download it? It was gonna be spooky. It's free. Uh. Mm -hmm. And we had to review it on the show. Uh. Here's my That's review. compensation. Shit. Mental. Compensation. Bad. Mental bads. What? Mental <laughs> bads? <for> mental bads. <laughs> what about you, Evan? Yeah. Evan. I, um, I don't. We know it's not COD. I don't usually regret playing games because it's all experience, right? Even if you don't like it. Games like Metal Gear Survive. I didn't like it, like it really. But is it worth the money though? No. No. <laughs> no. I didn't you don't think regret it was it. very good. Maybe I do regret that. I, I, there's games that I regret going back to because I kind of liked them and then and then I play it again like older games like a bad ex no <laughs> game games that you just like that you kind of you you remember them fondly and then and then you play them and you're like oh this was it's not not very good I remember this looking better and playing better than it than it does yeah um like fear fear is a really great game but uh playing it nowadays like oh this is has not held up very well which uh so i regret regret playing um that more recently ah 
It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's fun. Um, all right, we've got to thank our top patrons, guys. Why? The time, because they they give us money mm. uh, in exchange for their name being read out on the show. Fine. Um, so, we need to thank Jimmy Hughes. Jimmy Hughes. Dean, Dean Madden. Madden Kylie, Kylie Jones. Jones. Zach Steinbecker. Angus, Angus Bowen. 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 Oh, Bowen. Hang on, hang on. Someone said Angus Brown. I think it was on. Kate. Oh, okay. That's a different person, Angus Brown. Say it right, Kate. Angus Brown. Bowen, it's Bowen. Angus Bowen. Oh. <laughs> um, Espen Brockham. I'm a dog, I don't know. Scott Chapman. <laughs> Shemeth Fitzgeraldine. Christian Ford. Christian, Ford. Christian Sanchez. Sanchez. <laughs> Josh Abda. Paul Barbie. Jake Robertson. Robertson Alex John. Tom, Tom Kowitz. <laughs> what? That's his name. Ben Lovett. Ben Lovett. Christian, Christian Sanchez. Sanchez. Adam Jen Batista, Batista, Chris Cheeky, Lachlan, Lachlan Chapman, Rupert, Rupert the Dog, dog Drew Peisner, Drew Shula. That's new, this 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 uh, new person. Grace Jarvis Grace is new Jarvis. as well. Grace Jarvis! I love Grace Jarvis! Hi Grace Jarvis! Why do you love Grace Jarvis? Do you know who Grace Jarvis is? Yeah, she's um I'm pretty sure she does comedy and then she um she put my podcast as the best podcast of the year on Junkie, so. <laughs> hey Grace, listen to my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Good liner, it's really good. That one's it's good. It's better. <laughs> no. Well. Different. Uh, yeah, listen to Kate's podcast, Loner, and my podcast, The Grub. We didn't finish the list. Listen to The Grub. What about mine? Listen. Jake Mufati. There you go. Great. We finished the list. And listen to Batch Bitch. Listen to Batch Bitch. And watch Loner. Gamey Gamey Game. Watch and watch Gamey Gamey Game. Gamey Game. Or listen to Gamey Gamey, Gamey, Gamey Game as well. We're a podcast now. We too. are a podcast now. Remember that. He'll do it. Don't forget it. Um, I mean, if you want to hear your name right on the show, you can jump on the $20 Patreon tier. Um, we might... Oh, the pin's gone. But uh, you can pins go to patreon.com slash gamergame or gamergame.com slash Patreon. If we find some more pins, we might send you a pin this week. Um, also, you get a mug at $20. That's pretty cool. That's, That's fucking good, man. That's good. It's good mug. Some people would pay $20 for one of these mugs. Some people good mugs. would genuine. spend $500 on Apex Legends. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you enjoy the show, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about it, share it around. Uh, remember the podcast, the show as well. Um, you can search for us on your podcast app of choice and, and, and we'll be there, probably. Um, we should be there. Penis! Oh, there for what? you! No, just saying penis. Oh, That's it. That's the end of the show. Too. Bye, guys. <laughs> Where are we going? That's it. That's the end. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice seeing you today.